So next we're going to look at uh, working with some of the ArcGIS Online services. So I'll just close down this workspace right now. Where's my mouse? There okay, we your are. mouse is gone. <laughs> Got too many monitors Wandering. going. Okay. okay. So I'll just open this up. Second folder. So we'll be sending people all these um, workspaces afterwards, although we will take our password out of them. Yeah. <laughs> Don't need everyone using the same R accounts. Okay. okay. Wow, you got a bunch of green things in there. What's going on with that? Yeah, so I've got this workspace that combines a few of the different uh, custom transformers that we have for interacting with the ArcGIS online services. Uh, so the first one I've got here, the ArcGIS online geocoder. So I'm bringing in some GML data. Uh, it contains information about fire halls in the city of Vancouver. Uh, this data has no um, geometry associated with it right now, but I do have an address to tell me the location of these fire halls. Uh, so what I'm going to do is use the ArcGIS online geocoder to use ArcGIS's uh, geocoding service to take those addresses and build points from that information. Oh, OK. Yeah, it does a fine job of that. So I can go inside here and show you the parameters. Again, it's the ArcGIS online account. And then I can tell it um, yep. which attributes to use for the addresses. Yep. Uh, so then my geocoded data, I'm just going to turn this off for now. No, it's okay. So now you're going to take and do service area. No, what's that one doing? Yes, that's what I call drive time polygons. Mm -hmm. And you're doing, where can I get in 5, 10, and 15 minutes? That's what that one's Yeah, about. so I just want to see what areas in Vancouver are within those drive times of the fire halls. So okay. in case of an emergency, you know yep. how close you are. And, and then, then yeah. you're doing some routing down below too. Yeah. So I also am using the, uh, the routing service from ArcGIS Online to um, get the fastest route from one point to, uh, from one of the fire halls to another point that I've created in here. So say there's an emergency yep. and they want to know exactly how to get yep. to that location. So that could come from a web service that point or yeah, something. Yeah, so it could come from yeah. anywhere, yeah. yeah. And then you're outputting this to three things at once, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So this is all going out to ArcGIS Online again. So it's going out to a single yep. feature service. And I'm getting three different, um, I guess, layers inside that. And we could go to multiple feature services as well. There's no, in FME, you can have many. You could, you could go whichever way you wanted. Mm -hmm. um, but you've just done one feature service with three layers inside. Yeah. So all right. I've got one layer for the uh, drive time polygons down here, another one for the actual location of my fire halls, and then the last one, uh, line to show the route from the fire hall to the location of interest. So you're going to let her rip? Yeah, so I'll try this one out too. So just let that run. OK, so we're reading, how many fire halls are there? Uh, I think there's about oh, I six, see. but I'm taking a sampler, so I'm only grabbing one for this OK, demo. so we'll just do one just to prove the point. Yeah, Okay. the drive time polygons look kind of weird when there's more than one yes. point involved. So that's done now. So if I go back. It's not quite finished yet. No, it's still oh, yeah. thinking. Still uploading Dark GIS here. So hopefully the safe staffers aren't watching news coverage of the Ukraine or something. I know if we were doing this <laughs> a week or two ago when the Olympic hockey was on, it was kind of a problem. Okay, we're done now. Uh, we're done. Okay. Okay. So I'll go back to my account here. So we're hoping for. So we're hoping to see a layer called fire halls now. So we've got this features here. Oh, the feature service. Feature yeah. service. Yeah. And I'll just add this to a new map and take a look. So it should have three things in there? Yeah. So we should see, yeah, there's a drive time polygons. Yeah. And we've got our line here oh, showing our... That's the shortest path the shortest from whatever path. the hospital or whatever you had there. Yeah, to this emergency location. Yeah. So I've got some information there, uh, some attributes on there. And then the point here, which is my fire. That hall. was what was geocoded. Yeah. Thanks, Bruce, Bruce Harold, for the fine geocoding work. And um, now if you choose these polygons, are they overlapping each other? Yeah, okay. That's how it works. Yeah. yeah. So they, they uh, yeah, okay, that's great. So that's that's it for this one. So that's mm -hmm. RTS Online services being used, very much like the Conterra example, where yeah. they were doing this type of thing as well. And it only we're outputting the results to a feature service uh, directly. Yeah, so we're having 